How's it going everybody? Thank you for checking out my video and today I'm going to teach you how to be able to do green screening very easily in 2021 so that way your background goes from looking like this to looking like this. Let's go ahead and jump right into the video. Before we truly get into this, I want to make sure that you guys understand that so much of this video is going to be subjective as to what you, the editor, choose to have for going on in the background or with the coloring or whatever it is that you use, even when it comes to the green screen that you use to make it to where your background disappears. You could see in my video, I simply just used a green sheet. It is nothing expensive. I wanted to make it as easy for people to understand, especially if it's something that you are starting off on a budget and eventually working your way up to. You can use something just as readily available as a sheet and it will work just as fine. And throughout this video, I'm gonna be going over a lot of do's, a lot of don'ts, and how to be able to correct, especially when it comes to coloring for this video. First thing you wanna make sure to have is the video that you want to have actually be green screened as the main clip in your timeline. And then you're gonna have the background that you choose to be behind you. You wanna put it underneath the clip that you're gonna be green screening. And you're gonna come over to the effects and you're gonna look for here. Now it's gonna give you a little bit of a preview. You're going to drag it over to the clip. And as you can see, the background is starting to peek through. However, the different shading within the sheet is starting to take effect. And what we're gonna do is, I usually go to composite. Some people like to go to original. I go to composite because it'll show you how it actually is being affected by choosing the background color. So we're gonna just choose background color and you're gonna choose some lights, some darks. You wanna have a good mixture so that way the colors start to fade away from the background as far as you and the original clip and then the background that you choose is gonna start peeking through. And I on purpose went down and filmed this in my kitchen because I wanted to have the faucet in there to show the coloring when it comes to the faucet and my sweatshirt is actually the same. And if you were to pick the faucet to get rid of, unfortunately you as the person start to fade away. So this is a really easy fix. You're gonna come over here to the crop icon. You're gonna activate it and you're going to simply drag it out of frame, done. Now when it comes to showing the clip, I just need to crop it just a little bit more. So there we go. I always wanna make sure to double check. But as you can see, when it comes to playing the clip, it is now out of frame. So right now, really, really good looking video but we still have a little bit of work to do because we wanna make sure to get rid of as much of the noise as possible, especially when it comes to something like hair or when it comes to the edges of the object or person being green screened. So what we're gonna do is we're going to go down to color selection, manual, and we can just play around with some of the chroma roll off so it's looking a little bit better, but again, it's completely subjective as to what you, the person, think as far as your editing. And what we're gonna do next is change this up. So you can, again, completely subjective as to what you guys think. You could change just this. You can alter whatever you want to be able to get rid of some of that noise because Obviously the, the background for what you're gonna be using as your green screen does matter. And so you will have to make certain adjustments accordingly. And we have the background looking good. We just need to be able to fix the coloring for me, myself in this video. So what we're gonna do is make sure you still have that uh, original clip selected. You're gonna come down to the effects and show color board. Now these particular uh, adjustments again, is completely just subjective to what you, the editor, choose. We have three different ones to choose from. We have color, saturation, and exposure. Now, being able to adjust these going through the color palette is gonna make it to where it looks more or less, I would like to say, normal as far as the color from the original clip. But again, you can make it to where your color palette is as all over the place as possible, or you can try to make it as close to the original as possible. So I will show you real quick my presets because this is what I feel works best for my videos. Because I am wearing gray, it is affecting the coloring a little bit, but as you can see, I had my markers set to completely different spots than they originally were. So when it comes to color, 
this is how it looks. And again, you play around with it and you can tweak it and maybe you'll find a palette that actually works even better for you. Saturation, like for example, if you mess around with the saturation, there you go, you can see it's a little bit more on the normal side looking. And again, you can make it to where it is however you want. And then you have your exposure, so there we go. And then once you find a color palette that you actually like, what you can do is, if it is something that you want to continue to use, you can go and save the way that you have it as a preset. So that way it's very easy. You don't have to do any more adjusting when it comes to future videos. You just go right to your preset and it is saved for you. So there's a couple of mistakes that people can make when it comes to having a green screen. This is something that I made and this is a video that I published as well where you can see here, I am completely see-through as far as the shirt I was wearing and my eyes are no longer white. This is an easy fix to be able to adjust that so that way you still have the coloring for your eyes if you have your teeth being see-through and especially your clothes. So what you're gonna do is, um, because this is a still, it's not gonna work, but this is just how you would be able to fix it. So first thing you do is you're gonna go and copy, click away and paste. So you can get rid of the extra. Now the copied clip, you're gonna put that on top of the original clip that you would be using. And you're gonna go to your effects and you're gonna look for the draw mask. You're gonna drag that over and you're going to put that onto the newest copied clip. And what you're gonna do is, let's say I need to be able to correct my eyes. You're gonna come here and you're gonna draw a mask around your eyes. Now, when it comes to drawing the mask, you wanna make sure that the mask is big enough that if you are doing movement within the video, you want the eyes to stay within the boundaries of your mask. And if, when looking at this, it is suitable for you as the mask is big enough, your eyes are not gonna go out of frame, then what you're gonna do is, if you need to correct anything else, like for example, if you needed to be able to correct your teeth, what you're gonna do is go and copy, come over here, paste again, and you're gonna take this clip and put that on top of it as well. And now you have the original video with the mask over the eyes, and because you copied that mask from the second video, you're gonna drag this down and you will be able to adjust the mask accordingly. So that way you now do not have to draw another mask. You can just alter the one that you already made and have it fit to the desired size. So that way, again, if your teeth were edited out and you want them to not be showing the background that you wanted in the back, you can have it to where your teeth now are perfectly fine as they are, just like how in this clip you have your eyes, now you have your teeth, and then you can continue going throughout the video to be able to make any adjustments. Like in this video, I would have been then going and adjusting my sweatshirt so that way it retains the look of it actually being a sweatshirt. But that is again how to be able to fix any uh, issues when it comes to things that are looking transparent that are needing to retain the original color aside from just going through the color paletting when it comes to the color board. And that's gonna be it. Pretty simple, straightforward, and helps to improve the video quality of your videos significantly without much effort at all. And that's gonna be it for today's tutorial on being able to green screen in 2021. Simple, effective, and especially when it comes to having a very high quality video, really, really effective. So again, thank you for checking out my video. And if you like content like this, please hit the subscribe button and hit the bell notification to be notified whenever a new video comes out. As I'm gonna be posting a lot more videos like this in the very near future. Also, if you like this video, please give it a like and share it so that way we can help others who may be having green screen issues here in 2021. And I will see you in the next video. Take care.